What is the biggest cause of green pool water or maybe the most elusive reason why you might have green water in your swimming pool? And to me, I mean, there's a seven, eight reasons why you could have green water in your swimming pool ranging from, you know, no chlorine situation to high phosphates or you don't filter your water enough or any one of a number of other things. And these are the typical problems that you'll encounter and then try to solve one at a time when you're diagnosing green water. But there's this one thing that I seem to encounter time and again, which seems to be responsible for the persistently difficult to solve green water problems. And I, I think I know what the problem is. So there's a major retailer of who does water testing, you know, and probably does water testing for free for millions of swimming pools in the USA. And this water testing will include a test for the cyanuric acid level, the CYA or the stabilizer in your water. And the range that they list as being acceptable is something like 30 to 150 parts per million. And if you're anywhere within that range, then you get like the green check mark. Everything's all good. The problem here is I completely disagree with this range. Like that's a crazy range to operate at because they don't finish telling you the rest of it. Like if your CYA is 80, 100, 150 parts per million. Yes, in theory, it is okay to be there, provided you have increased the free chlorine level in your pool in linear, linear ratio to the increase of CYA. It doesn't say that anywhere. Nobody mentions that to you. So you have a CYA level of 100. We'll choose that as an example. And you come to me with this persistent green water problem that you just can't seem to solve. And you'll look at your other parameters and everything seems to be right. And you'll have like two or three parts per million of chlorine in your pool and boom, we found the problem because the CYA level is so high, the free chlorine count would need to be much higher than that in order to still function in an environment with that much stabilizer in the water. And it's weird to me that they they show that the it's okay to have the CYA level so high because it's totally not okay. I think the reason that they do it is because so many people struggle with CYA because they use chlorine pucks. If you use regular old chlorine pucks in your pool one way or another, every time you add one to the water, you're increasing the CYA level. There is no way to reduce it other than draining and refilling. In recent years, we've seen the emergence of chemical products that claim to reduce the cyanuric acid level in your pool. My experience with them is largely they do not work, or if they work, they are minimally effective. Draining and refilling with clean, fresh water still is the solution for a cyanuric acid level, which is too high. And the problem with that is more and more we're seeing restrictions on water use for people with swimming pools. If you live in an area with water restrictions and you're using chlorine packs, you're out of your mind because you are just creating an unsolvable problem for yourself. And so the solution here is to find unstabilized chlorine sources and use those to um, – in order to provide the chlorine for your pool. Like for example, liquid chlorine. If, if you stopped using packs and you just bought jugs of liquid chlorine and poured them into your pool a couple of times a week, you would find that you don't have this problem anymore because your, your cyanuric acid levels would stop creeping up over time. The optimal range for CYA levels is 30 to 50 parts per million. And in excess of 50 parts per million, I'm very skeptical is a good idea. Perhaps the only time that I agree that in excess of 50 parts per million is suitable would be in the event that you have a salt water chlorinator, in which case up to perhaps 70 parts per million is suitable. The idea being that it will provide some extra protection for the chlorine in your pool uh, and make your salt chlorine generator not have to run as often um and that, those are the only exceptions that like if you come to me with 100 120 150 parts per million cya in your water and you say what's well, the problem 100 percent, that is the problem even if the test that you get has this green check mark next to the your cya level at 120 and they say it's fine it's not fine unless you are comfortable with increasing your free chlorine levels at 5% of the CYA level at minimum, and it's a lot. That's a pretty high chlorine level for a residential pool, and I, I certainly don't endorse it. The right move here, set your CYA at 30 to 50, stop using stabilized chlorine so it doesn't just keep climbing on you, and we have entirely solved this persistent green water problem that nobody can seem to solve for you. And if you found this information helpful, I hope that you'll like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.